this uh, short podcast, I wanted to kind of just have a little bit of a visit about uh, our disclaimer. I've uh, got a number of questions over the last couple of weeks about uh, the disclaimer and what it means and, and potentially uh, one of the parts of it that uh, a few folks have been a little bit concerned, which I think uh, once I explain it, you'll understand it's no, no big deal. So when you go to set up an account uh, under the create account uh, screen, it shows you the disclaimer and basically the number one disclaimer that you have to agree to to use our tool is that you understand this is for educational use. We don't know the future. Uh, we do the best job we can at calculating expected payments to, to help you with these decisions, but no way uh, do we know the future. So you have to agree. You, you have to click the little box that says, I understand and agree to the terms and disclaimer before you can even use the tool. Uh, and most people don't have any any problem with that because they uh, frankly realize that uh, uh, these decisions are very difficult and we've tried to do as much information give you as much information as we could but it's 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 quite hard the the middle paragraph is the one that's been causing some concern because it says that we uh, allow you to save your data which we do and and a very it's a very important element of our tool uh, having done this for this is my fifth farm bill to work on and about the third one where we've calculated a significant tool that was used across the country. Uh, previous tools we developed didn't have the ability to save any information uh, nor set up an account where the user would just log on and they'd use the tool and then when they're finished they'd be done. And what we found out through uh, a lot of irate folks was that when uh, the rules changed from FSA or some little tweak happened and they wanted to rerun they'd have to re-enter all their data again. And basically the decision was made early on that we were not going to, uh, uh, that we were going to give folks the opportunity to save their data. And why we have you established an account is because we want to be able to get a hold of you if something's changed where we think you need to revisit and rerun. If your data's saved, it's no big deal. If your data's not saved, you've got to re-enter it. So um, the disclaimer also goes on to say that after sign-up is completed, that FAPRI and AFPC uh, we researchers may aggregate the results. Well, that is us. Okay, so that is us. And what we're saying here is what we were going to look at initially when we put this in was uh, after sign up is completed, if we found out how people actually, uh, what decisions they made, we could uh, look at it and see whether we thought they were making economic decisions or basically they were making a decision based off on some other factor. Um, the reality is at this point in time, uh, we have no way to know what you're going to choose when you go into FSA's office. Uh, the economics say one thing, we would read it one way and you may read it another. But uh, at this point in time, well, we have no ability to make that decision so we're not going to use that data. What I've underlined here is it says in the disclaimer is that users who do not want their data saved can delete it at any time. Again, just realize if you've done this analysis in early December and you think you're done but suddenly the price forecasts start changing rapidly, you're going to want to rerun it between now and March. And to do that, you're going to have to have leave your data in there. After you're done, uh, you can go to, and I'll, it says right here, you can delete it out at any time. You go to each farm unit, down on the left-hand side, there's a delete button. You want your data out of here, you click that button, and that data for that farm unit is gone. Um, so from, from my standpoint, uh, we are just trying to help producers. Uh, the saving of the data is, is, a, is basically a favor to you, so you don't have to retype. Um, if, if that is a big concern, uh, then uh, we need to hear from you, or uh, uh, you know, essentially, hopefully, you get some help from somebody with a decision aid if you don't choose to use this one. Thank you very much.